math blog here and uh, this uh, geometry lesson actually I teach this lesson in my high school geometry class um, uh, it's classifying triangles so let's go ahead and get started here so um, our common core strands we're going to draw and identify lines and angles and classify shapes by the properties of their lines and angles so in this lesson our question is how can we classify triangles by the size of their angles okay so let's go ahead and uh, get get going here all right uh, and also, uh, it's it's suggesting to get some uh, colored pencils, so maybe you can get some colored pencils out because you're going to be coloring here in this lesson, uh, particularly red, blue, and orange. Okay, so uh, let's try. A triangle is a polygon uh, with three sides and three angles. So a polygon is like a stop sign, or and everybody's seen a triangle before, or or like um, uh, a rectangle is a polygon. A closed finger, a figure is a polygon made up of line segments. That's what a polygon is. So you can name triangles by the vertices of, of its angle. So for example, if I have this triangle over here, I can call it triangle uh, in any order you want. Triangle ABC, triangle BCA, and it would go like this. Triangle BCA. Okay, triangle CAB would go triangle CAB. These these are all saying the same triangle over here. Okay, just using all those letters right here. And and uh, when you see um, uh, this triangle symbol right here and the letters ABC, that is saying uh, triangle ABC. All right, so. Uh, let's do this. And the first activity is to identify the right acute and obtuse angles in the triangles below. Okay, so we're going to use our colored pencils here. And so uh, we're going to use the triangle color guide over here, right here, uh, to color the triangles below. Okay, so this one's pretty easy. We're going to uh, color in all the triangles that have one right angle in it. Well, that's pretty easy to see because I can see this has a right angle. This has a right angle right here. This has a right angle, and this has a right angle. This one's kind of hard to see because it's kind of going slant. But if you can see that, it kind of goes up, and then it makes a nice right angle right there. Uh, that's a right angle right there. So we're going to color all those ones with um, red in there. So there they are, all colored in in red. Okay, and the ones that we're going to color in in blue are the obtuse angles. This one's easy to see. It's an obtuse angle because a right angle would go straight up right here. And a, a, an obtuse angle is bigger than 90. It's open more than 90. So this is an obtuse angle. And this one also is an obtuse angle right here. It's kind of hard to see. Let me show you something here. I'm going to take a picture of this, you guys. Hold on for a sec. We're going to grab this triangle and I'm going to twist it for us, okay? So here's this triangle right here. Uh, okay, and I'll, I'll just... Uh, here we go. There it is right there. Now watch this triangle. When I tilt it up, I'll do that right over here. Hopefully you can see that. And I tilt it up right here. Can you see the obtuse angle right there? Okay, see how that's an obtuse angle right there? Okay, so that's an obtuse angle. It's open up more than 90. Now if you don't like it, look at it this way. Okay, if you let that line be flat right there, there's my flat line right there. And this angle is open more than 90 right there. So that's an obtuse triangle right there. Okay, let me get rid of that. Okay, so this is an obtuse uh, angle right here. This is an obtuse angle. Uh, these look like they're all acute right here. Uh, this one right here, this one looks like it's open more than 90 right there. I could take a picture of that and move it around also. But those would be the obtuse uh, angles, so I'm going to uh, shade those triangles in blue. Okay, and then these other ones are, are acute angles. These are all less than 90. This is open less than 90. This one is open less than 90. And this one is too. It's open less than 90. And all three of these are open less than 90. So I'm going to I'm going to shade those ones in in orange. Okay. All right. Doesn't that look kind of cool? I think so too. Uh, math talk. So uh, can a triangle have more than one obtuse angle? And explain. So I'm going to say no, it can't. And and here's one reason why. Uh, if you use three line segments to make uh, uh, two obtuse angles. You can't join the lines to make a triangle. Watch here. I'll show you right here. If I did, if I did uh, uh, three line segments, here's one line. Here's one line segment right here, and I'll make an obtuse angle with this. So there's an obtuse angle right there, and then I got to do another, another third line segment to make an obtuse angle right there. So um, let's see. Let's go with this guy over here. I'll make an obtuse angle over here. Okay, and if I make an obtuse angle over there. 
I can't make a triangle with those three line segments and the two obtuse angles right there. Okay, so it can't be done. I can't make a triangle. So it can only have one obtuse angle in it. Okay, all right, let's try this here. So uh, we're going to uh, name the triangles with one right angle and name the triangle with one obtuse angle and name the triangle that has three acute angles. Okay, the right angle is pretty easy to see right here. Here's the right angle. So here's the triangle with the right angle. And I like to do them in alphabetical order. So I'm going to say uh, triangle PQR. Okay, so that's the, the right angle. Um, and then the, the triangle that has one obtuse angle, hopefully you can see this is the obtuse angle, so triangle XYZ. Okay, you can call it angle, triangle ZYX or, you know, angle XZY, it doesn't matter. I just like to do them in alphabetical order. And then this one's the triangle that has three acute uh, angles in it. Okay, now, so if it's a triangle that has one right angle in it, like this one, this guy would be called a right triangle. If it's a triangle that has one obtuse angle in it, it's called an obtuse triangle. What do you think this one's called? This one's called an acute triangle. Isn't that a cute little triangle? <laughs> it's, not, it's, a, it's a terrible math joke, you guys. All right, so here's so an acute triangle is a triangle that has three acute angles in it. Okay, easy enough. There's an acute triangle. Those are, boy, that one almost looks like it's a right angle right there, but we'll just say it's like 89 degrees, so it's just less than 90. As long as that's less than 90, um, uh, then it's a, a, an acute triangle right there, okay? These ones are definitely less than 90, but that one, I bet you that's like 88, 89 degrees. It's just a little bit less than 90 right there, okay? How about this one? There's an obtuse triangle. An obtuse triangle is a triangle that has only one, one obtuse angle in it, and there's my obtuse angle right there, okay? These other two angles are acute, tri uh, acute angles, okay? So it has one obtuse angle in it. And the right triangle is a triangle with one right angle in it, Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, uh, use this activity. We're going to uh, use the Venn diagrams below to classify the triangle. So in here, I'm going to list all the acute triangles. In here, I'm going to list all the right triangles. And in here, all the obtuse triangles. Okay, let's get the acute triangles. This one's acute. That one's obvious. Let's see. No, there's an obtuse angle. That's obtuse. This one's acute. Okay. Uh, there's a right angle right there. That one's acute. Right, I'm sorry, that's obtuse right there. This one's hard to see because it's upside down, but this one's obtuse right here. Here's an acute triangle right here. Okay, that one's a right triangle. So let's go ahead and I, I think I color coded them too. Yep, I did. I color coded them. So triangle uh, RST, uh, triangle uh, LMN, and then finally triangle ABC right here. Okay, let's get the right triangles. Those are easy enough. That's these guys with the right angles in here. So um, I got uh, triangle. Um, uh, uh, BCD and then finally over here triangle PQR and so the obtuse triangles are these guys right here so I, I color coded those in blue so there's my obtuse triangles right there easy enough right okay so um, uh, explain why the three circles in the Venn diagram do not overlap with each other well um, uh, a triangle can't be classified more than one way by the size of its angles because remember we tried to make that triangle with two obtuse triangles two obtuse angles in it, you can't do it. So you can't have acute triangles with three acute angles with a right triangle because a right triangle um, uh, has a right angle in it, which means it can't be acute, so it can't be in this one. And an obtuse uh, uh, triangle is over uh, all the acute angles. So none of these can overlap. Uh, so each, tri can, uh, each triangle can only be acute, right, or obtuse, okay? I hope that makes sense, you guys. That's a fun lesson. I really like this, uh, this chapter. Take care.